there's a level of precision that can be achieved by firing from a closed bolt position and it's just over the course of time bolt actions because of the lockup in the chamber and the, the tolerances that you can achieve firing one round at a time using the bolt action platform, the semi-auto has never ever got, gotten to that level of precision. You can do it, but it it's a lot of money to machine everything to the level, the tolerances are required to, so like, like there's a 762 semi-auto systems out there right now, the M21, which is an M14, you got the SR25 or the Mark 11 or the M110, all of those names apply to a Knight's Armament system that is 762 semi-auto. But it's never achieved the that level of consistent accuracy, gun over gun, sub minute of angle, at, you know, out to 800 yards. It's just harder to do um, because of what goes on in the barrel extension and the bolt and you know the lockup. It's harder to do that with a semi-auto system. Semi-auto systems, while you get more rounds, um, you, and you're getting more rapid follow-up shots, suitable in the urban environment. This was supposed to be replaced one for one by the M110 SAS, by the Knight's Armament Rifle. They were supposed to replace the M24 across the board. They got about a third of the way into it when people started saying, well, hold on, we really like this gun. We, we would like to keep both of them. There's applications for both of them. Um, the M110 is nice and it gives us capabilities, but we still like this. You know, and, and, we, and we were happy to see that, that, that the, the soldier liked the gun enough to you know, resist change to a certain degree. Um, and then asked for it to be upgraded, that there's a level of precision that can be attained through that platform that, and that action that's still not attainable in the semi-auto.